Because your pet is part of your family, your pet deserves respectful care after death. Stanley Petuary takes pride in providing quality care for your pet. We realize the bond and relationship shared with pets. It's only right that we treat the passing of your pet with the respect and dignity we reserve for all our family members. And we pride ourselves in providing a friendly personal touch for your pet's final needs. We promise to treat your pet with the dignity that he or she deserves and hope these things will make the loss of a beloved pet a little easier for you. Visit us at Stanley Petuary, adjacent to Stanley Funeral Home, 1320 North Jefferson in Dublin, or log on to stanleypetuary.com. Serving all of Middle Georgia, Stanley Petuary. Progressive Rural Telephone Co-op offers a full range of communication products and services to its members in Lawrence County and surrounding areas. We take pride in being your total communications provider, and we work hard to provide quality services at the best prices. In addition to offering phone service, we provide high-speed internet and digital high-def TV. And we always strive to put our members first. Progressive Rule, your total communications company. Small enough to know you, large enough to serve you. ProgressiveTel.com. Call 478-984-4201 or stop by 890 Simpson Avenue in Rents. Progressive Rule Telephone Co-op. Looking for a career that's always in demand? How about one that provides you with practical and useful skills? A career that allows you to earn hands-on experience and an education with little to no debt? Oconee Fall Line Technical College prepares students with the right set of skills to succeed in fast-growing careers in healthcare, manufacturing, business, and technology fields. If you're ready to gain the experience you need to start your career locally, OFTC is where it all begins. Oconee Fall Line Technical College. Careers begin here. My name is uh, Phil Patel. I am one of the part owners here and the general manager here at the Hampton Inn and Suites. First time when I got introduced to Morris Bank, the people were so friendly and helpful. You feel like that you are appreciated there. At Morris Bank, everybody down at the bank is so friendly, and not just to myself, they're just friendly to everybody. They want us to succeed because our success is their success at the same time. That makes a lot of difference, and they're always there for us. Welcome, everybody. I know you recognize these two young people that are with me today, and we are at, basically by the logo on the screen and the logo behind us, uh, it's a no-brainer. We're out at Ad4 St. Gobain and uh, one of our newer industries here. And uh, Robin, uh, they have really come in and invested in our community, haven't they? Yes, they have. It's been great. So tell me about the Balloon Fest and uh, how are they involved in this? Um, the Balloon Fest is Friday, March the 10th and Saturday, March the 11th at the Dublin Civil Town Fairgrounds this year. It's a different place. Um, we're going to have three specialty balloons which is where they come in and help us with that. Um, space, spaceship, cowboy, and we're not supposed to call it Tweety Bird, but it's like a yellow bird. <laughs> Don't call it Tweety Bird, call it Yellow Bird. <laughs> that must be a copyright thing. Something That's like what that. I'm picking up on here. <laughs> yes. uh, Patrick, you've been a part of this for, uh, for many years now. Yeah. Uh, now, you've also been involved in other parts, both of y'all have. Uh, Seems like just a few years ago, we were you and Will and I were talking about joint civic luncheon and um, other things. That was during COVID, wasn't it? It was. It was yeah. a tough time for us. We pulled through though and came out better than ever. Tell me about um, uh, the investment here and what it means to the festival. It means a tremendous amount to us. This is the second year they've been the presenting sponsor of the Balloon Festival, and like you said, they really bought into this community and come in and been a good, good partner with us. Okay, you see them with the green coats on here today, and as we get around town, you know what? Uh, I was telling uh, Will uh, Cameron Curry the other day, uh, my earliest um, uh, St. Patrick's, I remember riding a float. Uh, I was talking to my mom this week. She took me to Dunn's department store, <laughs> and I know you remember that, uh, and got me a green bow tie so I could uh, ride in the float. This is in the 60s now, late 60s, so it had to be one of the first few. Uh, it wasn't near what it is today. But, uh, you know, we see green all over town, and uh, Robin, you, um, this name I'm about to say, uh, 
you've known her for many years, but when I think of St. Patrick's, and I know there's many people, Amy Cannon and, and uh, Miss Lucy Skinner, and so many people, but Miss Riggs, uh, yes. she, she's got a lot more medals than anybody. She does. And I say medals, <laughs> they're pins. That's but, right. Uh, she can... looks like a general, five-star general coming in, don't she? <laughs> she does. We couldn't do souvenirs without her. Yeah. And, and what would... Uh, I, I said this about Miss Lucy, and we lost her the last couple of years, but uh, she was incredible when it come to uh, Miss St. Patrick. Oh, yeah. You didn't see Miss St. Patrick's without Miss Lucy Skinner. That's right. And Miss Ricks. It, it would not be St. Patrick's without Miss Ricks. And uh, you've been involved in the souvenirs in the past. Tell, uh, tell our viewers why it's important to... To, to buy from Miss Ricks and, and, and that money being reinvested in the community. Well, that's what we do. We put it back into the festival so that we can do all the things we do every year. Uh, Patrick, how many times have you been up my balloon? I've flown twice. You, did you fly it by yourself? No. No. <laughs> no. But I flew twice, once out of the front parking lot of the Civitan Club at the paragrounds and then the other time I flew out of Southern Pines. Mm -hmm. Now Robin just mentioned the dates and uh, some information but uh, to make sure people understand now this is different this year well we don't want you going out to Southern Pines and wondering where are they at you know so I, we really got to press a, 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 among the people right here let's don't miss this kind of like the preacher saying in closing you know he's lying. He's not, he's not in closing, you know. So, And believe me, I do that quite often. But let's make sure people understand this year. Yeah, it's at March 10th and 11th. It is at the Civitan Fairgrounds this year. And that's just due to all the construction going on at Southern Pines. We worked with the rec department to come up with this. And it just year, this year was not going to be a fit because of all they've got good things they've got going on out there. Mm -hmm. Parking is, isn't a problem. There's plenty of parking out there, uh, plenty of room. And... Uh, uh, dig a little deeper there, Patrick. What all, we know there's going to be balloons, but what else will be there? We're going to be showing the movie Space Jam on Friday night. That's sponsored by the rec department. And then Saturday night, we're going to have live music. We've got concessions there. We'll have hot dogs, hamburgers, pizza, everything out there. And then we'll have 17 balloons with three specialty balloons. It's the most specialty balloons we've ever had at one time. Now, other than the balloons, what is your favorite event? There's so many. Um, I enjoy Super Saturday. <laughs> yeah. I enjoy everything that goes on on Super Saturday. I enjoy the pancake supper. I mean, there's so many to name. I mean, mm -hmm. they, it's all fun. This Dublin becomes really special in the month of March. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and you had a little extra time to think of that now. So what, what is your favorite? Not mm -hmm. count the balloons now. What's your favorite of them? You ask me this every year. I know, and, and I want a different <laughs> answer every year. No. <laughs> Like you that. ought to know then it's coming. <laughs> oh, I probably. Oh, I, I enjoy Super Saturday too, but probably Arts and Crafts is a little closer mm -hmm. to me just because I've been involved with that a lot. And how long have you been involved with St. Patrick's? Do I have to really say that? Yeah. <laughs> just say over this or over 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 30 years. Or over what? 30 years. Okay. We'll go with that. Now, she took my answer. <laughs> That's not fair. Now, I said I've been involved since the 60s. So, and Robin is not going to give it away. And I'm not pressing a woman. Now, I'm going to press Patrick. How long have you been involved? A little over 10 years. A little over 10 years. And for those of you who don't know, uh, Patrick uh, works with the Bank of Dudley. And there again, uh, the Bank of Dudley is 120, what? Come since on. Since 1905. Yeah, you, he didn't know I was going to throw that at you, didn't since you? Since 1905. He's safe with 1905, but he's, he's really good at math because he is a banker. But, uh, but the reason I say this, Patrick, Bank of Dudley has always, always invested in our community. And, and, and you, you got to see that, not only that beautiful bank downtown, but, uh, but I'm sure uh, you fit right in being the community servant you are with Bank of Dudley, didn't you? Yeah, I do. And it's, it's a great place to work. And we're, we are the oldest community bank in Dublin, Lawrence County. Yeah. It's a special place for us. Bank of Dudley since 1905. Yep. <laughs> I ought to know that as many commercials as I've done for Bank of Dudley. But, uh, and, uh, and Sam don't look that old. I mean, 1905, and, and you know, he's a Bruton boy. And, uh, but he just don't look that old, you know, a hundred and whatever. We still trying to add that up in our head, aren't we? 
But uh, and we may even edit that part out, but <laughs> but we may leave it. Let's go over it again, uh, Robin. Give us the who, what, when, where, how on the balloon fest. March tenth and eleventh, Friday and Saturday at the Dublin Civitan Fairgrounds on two fifty seven. Um, Friday afternoon and night, Saturday afternoon and night. Movie Friday night, music Saturday night, concessions, things for the kids, 17 balloons. Okay, and Patrick, I want you to, we're going to take a break here in just a second and bring Scott in, but I want you to introduce him for me and tell me uh, again how important that investment is. We have Scott Grown, he is the plant manager here, and they're their con contribution to St. Patrick's has been amazing since they've been here. Okay. You heard it right from, well, I shouldn't say the horse's mouth, should I? But uh, we got Scott coming up next, and we're going to go over a few more details. Stay with us. We'll be back right after this. Yo, Dad, come play some ball. You're not my dad. I'm not your dad. Of course I'm your dad's son. If I wasn't your dad, would I be able to do this? What I'm are you doing? I'm doing this. Make a swish. Uh-oh. Jake from State Farm. Here's the deal. There's no replacing the real Chris Paul. Not my car. Just like there's no replacing State Farm. Come on, man. Stop trying to be me. You want the real deal? Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Call Mr. Appliance for our speedy expert service. Or your appliance is not performing correctly, call 309-5960. Mr. Appliance of Dublin is your go-to company for dependable quality appliance service. Our experts are committed to delivering exceptional results in a timely manner, whether you need repairs, replacement parts, or general maintenance. Technicians are available on your schedule and always provide courteous, respectful, and quality work every time. Time. Our technicians always explain and ensure understanding so you'll never encounter surprise fees. Trust Mr. Appliance for residential and commercial repair, service, and maintenance. Call 309-5960. That's 309-5960. 309-5960. Serving Dublin and the surrounding area, Mr. Appliance and Speedy Expert Service, a locally owned and operated franchise. Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Dustin Gay. I'm a local orthopedic surgeon with Houston Clinic Orthopedics, and we'd really like to invite everybody to come out to our new uh, office facility to take a look at it. It's a larger space with physical therapy, and uh, we're just excited to have it, and we'd love for people to come out and visit us. Come by and see us today at our brand new location, the Houston Clinic, Medical Drive in Dublin. Welcome everybody. I am so glad this is my first trip out here, Scott. Uh, we are here at uh, Ad4 St. Gobain. It is uh, a relatively new company that uh, has come on board here uh, out on Willie Polk Parkway. Uh, most of you know where that is, but I'm glad to have with me today, Scott Grawl. Uh, you are, uh, I guess, the head honcho, right? Yeah, they made me site director uh, <laughs> at the end of the year, so I was uh, running the HR function for a while, and now I'm site director for both plants, yes. So, uh, before we get into what we're here for today, tell us a little bit about the company. Well, again, Sangaban is, is one of the uh, leading industrial companies in the world. Um, we've been the uh, uh, top employer ranking for the last eight years in a row, both in North America and globally. Uh, we bring um, a lot of experience to fiberglass, which is the plant that we're trying to rebuild here. Um, the business unit we're in, Ad Force, uh, the Ad Force stands for additional force, so we're building in force into uh, drywall tapes and anything that you can think of that would have fiberglass in it, whether it's uh, car bodies and, and some other things as well. So that's one side of the house that we'll do, and then the other side is um, insulated mat, uh, needle mat we call it, uh, for oil and gas industries and or um, we're going to get into the electric vehicle battery business as well with uh, Aspen Aerogel. So would it be accurate that you are a force to be reckoned with? Well, I don't know if I am, but uh, I think Sangaban <laughs> certainly is. Um, you know, we, again, we're well respected around the world. Uh, we have a ton of uh, locations here in North America with different business units uh, and, and um, you know, tens of thousands of employees. Yeah, uh, I was reading over 180,000 employees. Worldwide. You're uh, in the top 100 companies globally, which that that tells us in Dublin, Lawrence County, uh, it was quite an honor to attract uh, an industry like yours. And with that said, what 
What attracted y'all to Dublin, Lawrence County? Well, it was the asset that we purchased, right? Um, uh, that certainly attracted us. Uh, some of our raw material is close by, uh, the choline that we use in the furnaces. Um, but again, so the Port of Savannah is a key uh, mm -hmm. to it as well because we'll ship a lot to Europe. Um, and there's plenty of opportunity here uh, from an employment perspective uh, in, in trying to find a, a good workforce to help uh, build out the products. So we've got Kia and Hyundai over at West Point. Uh, we've got Hyundai coming down to Pooler. Yep. Uh, so either you had some good intelligence early on <laughs> or it was the luck of the draw. Yeah, I, I think, uh, you know, because we purchased an access out of distress, somebody else had that good fortune, I think, and, and we're going to take advantage of it at the end of the day. Amen. Okay, uh, we're here today to talk about, and um, uh, we heard Patrick and Robin with the St. Patrick's Festival Committee a minute ago, um, and y'all are really investing a lot into our community. Why is community important to you? Again, that's one of the, the tenets for St. Coban. It's making the world a better home. Um, and, and that's both from sustainability and building communities, right? Uh, for us to succeed, we have to help the community succeed. Uh, we're trying to get in and, and do things locally with a number of different agencies. Uh, I'm the chairman of the United Way now uh, and some of those things. So um, we're trying to build that. We're working with the school systems, uh, Dr. Fred Williams and, and some of the programs he's trying to put together. Um, we've met with the local clergy uh, to, to you know, see how we can partner with them to uh, find employees and some other things. Uh, but you know, part of it, what we want to do is give back to the communities the best we can, uh, whether it's through volunteerism or otherwise. Well, St. Patrick's, as you know, uh, uh, been around 58 years. It's our 58th year. It's big in Dublin, Lawrence County. And uh, for you to come in and invest in uh, the Balloon Fest, which is uh, this festival is widely uh, uh, visited. Yep. Uh, we're moving it this year, as you heard a while ago, out to the, the Civitan Fairgrounds. But um, have you ever been up in a hot air balloon? I have not personally. Last year would have been the first time had the weather cooperated, of course, but uh, hopefully this year I'll either be tethered or go for a plume ride itself. But you know, I, kudos to the uh, committee. Uh, you know, uh, they, they come up with fresh ideas and uh, you know, we'll have 17 balloons this year, I think is, is what they're, they're aiming at, some uh, movies and some other things going on as well. So yeah, it's a great community event. It'll help us get our name out. We'll have a, a float in the parade on Super Saturday. We'll have a, a booth on Super Saturday as well at the Arts and Crafts fair, uh, handing out some information about uh, future, um, you know, recruiting efforts and things like that that we're going to go through. And speaking of that, uh, those that are watching us right now that uh, may be interested in a, a future with you yep. or maybe in a dead-end job, maybe just lost their <laughs> job, you know, what do you look for in an employee? Yeah, I mean, so we want an employee that comes with their heart and their body, right? Uh, we want somebody that's going to come to work, uh, to work, uh, you know, we want you to be here present. Um, you know, we're looking at all different levels of the organization, so we certainly have entry-level positions for general laborers or utilities, uh, uh, laborers on the, the needle mat side, but you know, we're going to be looking for supervision, uh, quality managers, um, all kinds of different positions as we get into this. So um, again, it's, it's coming uh, prepared to work and, and, and coming to work yeah. as much as anything else. Well, you're sitting right now at about 100 employees. Yep. Where do you see the future? Yeah, ultimately, when we get the uh, furnace fully functional uh, and, and running at full capacity, we'll be at 400 plus. Okay. Um, so we have a, a bit of a task ahead of us to uh, get people hired and trained. Um, you know, if we look at the diversity in our organization today, we probably have 10 or 12 nationalities, right? Because, again, we're a global company, so we have some Germans, some Czechs, some Latvians, some French folks, uh, a number of Mexican folks have come up to help mm -hmm. us because we have a sister plant in Mexico. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, we're, we're, we're planning around how we're going to do this and, and make it effective. I'm just curious, how many languages can you speak? One. Well, <laughs> and I, tr I struggle with English sometimes. So, <laughs> tell me about it. So, so you come to the right place in the South, yes. but we struggle with it also. Yes. So. My, I haven't quite gotten the uh, twang yet, uh, but you, uh, you ain't year. got it. Yeah, I ain't got it yet, <laughs> y'all. Yeah. There you go. Well, we thank y'all for your investment uh, here in Dublin, Lawrence County. Not just that, but uh, you've came in. Uh, you know, in life we have givers and we have takers, and uh, you didn't come here just to take. 
you have already given a lot to this community, yes. and uh, and we appreciate that and look forward to a, a, a wonderful future, a successful future, uh, and anything we can do, not only at the TV station, but our community, as you've already seen, yes. we're always there. So, uh, Well, Scott Graw, we uh, appreciate him being here today and appreciate Robin and Patrick for being here today. Listen, get out. We're, we've already ordered good weather. It's going to be beautiful, I'm telling you. And uh, the sun will be shining, bouncing right off Scott in my head. So uh, we'll have plenty of light there. But uh, thank you so much for joining us. Please come out to the 58th Annual St. Patrick's Festival. At Central Georgia Primary Care, we are dedicated to improving your health and quality of life throughout Lawrence County with state-of-the-art facilities. We are your one-stop shop for all things health care, and there's a location near you no matter where you live. Central Georgia Primary Care is located at 406 Central Drive in East Dublin and just off Hillcrest at 101 Mercer Drive and in Dublin at 230 Industrial Boulevard, north, south, east, or west. There's a Central Georgia Primary Care centrally located near you. Everyone at Allen's Heating and Cooling reminds you to get out and enjoy all the activities of the 58th Annual St. Patrick's Festival. Allen's Heating and Cooling is your licensed Domana equipment dealer. Trust Allen's Heating and Cooling to install and service your heating and air conditioning unit. Allen services all brands, and with the purchase of a new unit, Amana offers a lifetime compressor warranty. Sean Clark or any of his friendly staff can help you today at Allen's Heating and Cooling. You're a mana dealer. A mana, last and last and last. Randolph's Jewelry Repair Plus is proud to be a part of our community and invites you in today to see our new tassel necklaces, bead bracelets with matching earrings. All 10 and 14 karat gold earrings are now on sale. You'll save 25% off all pearl jewelry right now at Randolph's Jewelry Repair Plus and diamond jewelry's up to 50% off. Randolph's offers confidential jewelry loans and will even buy your jewelry and coins. Count on Randolph's Jewelry Repair Plus for repairs and sizing. Randolph's Jewelry Repair Plus, Pine Forest Street in Dublin. Tax Time America has been bringing customers all their credits for more than 16 years. Tax Time America has provided our community with friendly, professional tax preparation and is always up to date on IRS rules and regulations and on the Affordable Care Act. Depend on Tax Time America, an authorized e-file provider, registered tax preparer, and a member of the Associated Tax Professionals. Tax Time America brings experience and ethical practices to you with no money out of pocket. Get your $2,500 tax advance. Call Tax Time America now at 274-8181. Tax Time America Income Tax Service, located at 103 High Street in the Northside Shopping Center just off North Jefferson. Bringing customers all their credits for more than 16 years. Tax Time America, located next to Cricket Wireless on North Jefferson in Dublin. Call Tax Time America now, 274-8181. Tax Time America would like to honor and remember a devoted friend and mentor, Lieutenant Colonel Stephen Smith, October 12, 1962 to August 14, 2019.